vector fields are one of those things that computers usually have a hard time uh, calculating uh, because there's so many little parts they got to keep track of. Uh, newer graphic cards, GPUs, or uh, parallel processing uh, makes it a little better. But here's some examples of some uh, some vector fields and the formulas that go with them. But if you know anything about uh, graphics programming or just graphing in general, you can sort of get a feel for what each of these things do. Um, like, I don't know, cosine is a circle thing. Um, okay, so anyway, let's do a thing. Let's apply the field in here and see what it does. So this is called shear movement. Uh, X stays the same, so left to right stays the same. Y plus X, that's the step uh, point one. Okay, so that's shear movement. Um, fine. Here is expansion. Expansion, okay. So X equals X plus this, and Y equals Y plus that. As you can see, that's why it expands. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Big Bang Universe expanding, simple math, but it has to calculate for each point. Okay, circular left. Um, what is going on here? Oh, here we are. So, I don't know. X, oh, X plus Y uh, times point 0.1. So, uh, vertical plus horizontal, and that makes it turn to the left. Okay, same idea for the right. Okay, that formula makes good sense. Squeeze and stretch. What do we got here? Squeeze and stretch. Okay, X times, okay, X, well, X, wow. Oh. oh, interesting. So X plus Y times 0.01 and Y plus X times 0.01 leads to this um, interesting squeeze and stretch thing. Wow, that is so cool. And it's so simple. Okay, that is neat. So, uh, and the final, oh, two more formulas. Flow around. Oh, yay, yay. I don't know what's happening here. I'm not even going to try that. I see a square root. Looks like it's folding into itself. Wow. Is that what a square root looks like when it's working? That is cool as hell. Okay. So, what's going on here? That's neat. Okay, uh, don't know how to describe it, but there you go. And vortex cells. Apply the field. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, it's going around cosine, so it's going around a little circle thing here. Wave expanding. Like somebody blew a trumpet into a bunch of pepper that's sitting on a floating on water, and it's starting to make a vortex. Cool. I sort of kind of get it. So there you go. Vector fields. Uh, computers don't like to calculate them too well. And uh, be easier just to put pepper on a plate of water and blow on it with a straw. But and film it. But still, this is pretty cool.